here. <laughs> All right, this little chunky guy's pulling pretty good. Ooh, ain't a bad little river bass. Come here. All right, guys. Heck yeah. That is not a bad way to start the morning right there. Look who there. Probably, I don't know, good two and a half pounds. Nice. All right, so let me show y'all what I'm fishing with today. Y'all know one of my favorite lures is the Zoom Speedworm, the one that has the cut in the tail like this. And everybody's always asking me how I fish these. It shocks most people to realize that I fish these weightless and I fish them on the surface as top water only. Most people rig this a very versatile worm. Most people rig these with a Texas rig and uh, fish them subsurface and it's like a swim bait with a tail. Uh, this part is very important, <clears throat> especially for top water. So you'll find a lot of time the tail on these are bent one direction or the other. And this one's kind of bent that direction. It's a little straight, but that's usually not the case. So since it's bent that direction, I want to put the belly of my hook on that side. And the reason I do that is that little extra weight of the hook will hold the bait down to that side. And it causes that tail to dig down into the water and cause it to kind of ripple and flop across the top. And that's key for fishing these top water. But uh, extremely versatile bait. You can fish it subsurface. You can take the trigger, it, fish it on the bottom, um, or you can fish it top water like me. Now this is a very neat one. I've never fished this before. I didn't realize they made these in a Magnum. They're very heavy. It's just a real thick body compared to the normal uh, Zoom Speed Worm that's kind of, well they call them Ultra Vibes now. But the reason I was excited about finding the big heavy ones, because I can fish it on a bait caster with braid and all this thick timber, pads, etc. So today is kind of my first day exposing y'all to these. I just found them at a local store. They actually only had two bags and I bought both of them. But I didn't even realize Zoom made these in a Magnum version. So that's what we're gonna fish. So the key is get your rod tip high, reel them relatively fast. You can see what that tail's doing coming to us. It's just digging in the water and flopping, digging and flopping. I've caught a lot of fish over the years on these type of baits. Typically I use the smaller one. But like I said, I was kind of excited about the big old fat version because it's got the weight to throw on a bait caster. I love throwing bait casters. Oh my god, holy crap, that was a huge, I mean huge fish. Guys, I just broke 30 pound braid. I mean, broke it. Holy moly. Oh. I seen that fish coming behind it and just let the lure down, holy moly. Not very often I break braid. And that's probably because I haven't retied in a while. Golly. 
That was a nice fish. I've already done seen several nice fish this morning. Wish I could have got it. But that's fishing. I tell you what, it's actually time for some new braid. I've been fishing this for quite a while. But I haven't bought new braid for a reason. I got some pretty exciting news coming to the channel. And uh, let's just say I've got some new equipment that I'm going to have to rig up. So there is no point in putting a bunch of new braid on these reels. I won't say much more than that, but uh, maybe next time out y'all see me fishing. I've got some really nice stuff to fish with. Some of the nicest stuff I've ever fished with in my life, so pretty excited about that. Look at here, son, it's a nice little bass. <laughs> awesome. I just let it flutter to sit there because I knew he missed it. Twisted a couple times, son, he couldn't stand it. That happens a lot with these baits. You can see him follow it or miss it. Yeah, come on, nice little bass. But you can see him follow it or miss it. You can drop it, they can't stand it, son. These are some long bass today for these little rivers. Typically I get short stubby bass. Look at here. Nice little butterball. Couple pounder. Alright, buddy, thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah. This old uh this old magnum speed worm might be the ticket. I love that I can throw it on a bait caster. It's got just enough weight. Let me see if I can get through here. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Dang. He's coming for it. Oh my god, guys, holy crap, holy crap, that's a freaking eight pound bass, holy crap, did y'all see that, Woo -hoo. that got my heart going right there, oh my god, did that bass want that, he thought he had him a snake, oh god, why didn't I get the hook in that fish, Oh, no, he had it. There, got it. Hey, now I feel more like my normal self. 
wouldn't be a fishing trip without a dink look at that that little guy wanted that big old lure that's crazy <laughs> it amazes me what a bass will try to fit in its mouth Tell y'all what, I'd, I'd rather fish in a boat than a kayak, but with that said, there is no boat ramp access anywhere near here, just nowhere close. So if you want to fish a place like this, you gotta have a kayak. So they have their places. Oh, there should have been one in there. I know I got a red dot on my head where I've been wearing this hat all morning with the GoPro on it. But I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I've been fishing a while. The fish have just quit biting. This has been one of the hardest stretches of fishing that I've ever had. This is my fourth trip to finally make a very short video. My last three trips, I caught one little bass. And that's because it's been almost 95, 97 degrees during the day, gotten extremely hot. And major feed time has been dead middle of the day. It's almost a full moon that has thrown these fish all out of whack. This morning I caught the very tail end of a minor feed time and it seems to show because I haven't had many bites since early this morning. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I got a lot of exciting stuff coming on the channel, a lot. Um, we're gonna get some new equipment. I'm gonna show that off. I'm gonna do a lot more fishing. Fall will be here before you know it. Things will start cooling down and that's really gonna ramp the fishing up. So I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. I always try to respond. Thanks for watching.